Right, good morning everybody and welcome. It's great to see so many people, a room absolutely packed. Um, I'm Mike Wilde, I'm the Chief Executive of MAC uh, and this is our big day. MAC is Manchester's local voluntary and community sector support organisation uh, and we're here to help uh, create and support charities and voluntary and community sector groups across the city. Today is really the moment at which we launch a lot of the new services that we've been putting together over the last 18 months. In particular, Manchester's had a kind of strange situation where we haven't really had one organisation that ties all those things together. So that's what Mac's doing. We've grown. We used to be a very specialist organisation around health and social care. And gradually, what we've tried to do is make sure that the whole voluntary sector gets all the things it needs. So that's what we're launching today, our sort of new role in the city. There's loads of people here, people who I see at every meeting like this, people I've not seen before, I think that's really good. It really shows the diversity of the voluntary sector in Manchester, I think. But there are so many different groups, so many different people here. I think that Mac are on a bit of a journey to being the real voice of the voluntary sector in Manchester. Big organisations like the council, it's much easier if we can know where to go to consult. doesn't mean that we don't want to consult directly with groups, but it's much easier to have somebody that we can go to, talk about things, test ideas out on, and really for them to challenge us, as Mike said earlier, about if we're doing things wrong or if we're not being clear about what we want. So it's really part of that two-way conversation that I think is really important. I think it's great to see so many voluntary community faith organisations get together. I think it's really good to have a sense that there's something new starting and Mac's going to be at the centre of that. I do genuinely think that the things that Manchester has to say should be heard on a national stage to, to really kickstart a change in the way that we are perceived in, in this area. Absolutely lovely to see so many people absolutely packing the room. And a lovely atmosphere actually, despite everything being pretty awful out there, kind of positive thinking and like, we're all in it together, let's actually try and make something of this. Well, I would like to see Max still here for a start, it took a while to get it here, to get it to be providing the kind of range of services that it is, and I would like it to be still here in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, but obviously developing and responding as new needs emerge and we have to do things differently to meet the needs of people in Manchester. I mean, I knew about Mac because it's been around a long time, but I mean, the changes, to, just to, to see how it's grown, how it's developed, how all the infrastructure agencies and support agencies have come together um, in Manchester, I think is, you know, that was interesting to, to um, see how that's happened and then to see the new branding, the new branding was really good. Well, I'd really like to see them continue with um, ensuring that um, they have effective ways of communicating with the community. And the people should be a sounding board, you know, like the Manchester Older People <laughs> Network. Um, if they are telling you what they'd like to see, and then they take that forward. So that is really effective communication with the community. I found it very useful. It's nice networking as well. I've got talking to people who want to come to Gorton and speak to me about the, the group. And somebody's offered to try and get some shops, which we need. I just want to be able to visit an organisation or get in contact with an organisation that's going to benefit our organisation and give us advice, whether it's on fundraising resources or CRB checks, whatever. And that's the way I see my straight away when I saw the free CRB checks, that was one I, I'd, I'd be certainly interested in because especially with the, the times that they are now is if they're going to work as a volunteer, they need to be CRB check. So it's so important for voluntary organisations, whether they are a charity or not, um, to afford to pay for all the enhanced checks. So it's, that is certainly a bonus to us. Well, I'd like to see it grow as its potential has been doing over the years. Um, I'd like to feel that it can really help the voluntary side of the community, which is um, the most powerful impact we can do, really. Um, to get more volunteers into the organisation, um, to give them the opportunities, really. For Anson Cabin, I think um, <laughs> most useful would be probably the volunteer centre um, and the commissioning work. Um, we've already used um, the Safeguarding Toolkit, which Matt has put together, which is fantastic. 
I like to see it sort of like really as a, a very, very strong, powerful infrastructure organisation that's that represents and speaks for and supports the voluntary community sector here in Manchester to have a voice and to actually articulate its needs clearly to council and other statutory sector providers and actually promotes the abilities that we have within the voluntary sector to meet the needs of our communities. Good also to actually have the chance to realise we're all in this together and that all of us are in a, a pretty nasty mess in terms of funding, but also then to go away, f as I am doing, with the idea quite clearly entrenched in my mind that there is a way forward and there are answers to the problems. There is money out there, it's just having to get our hands on it, and how we do. You know.